Hey, it's been a while since I last uploaded a video on this channel. In my game Connected Destiny, uh, many of the mobile games out there, when you press the back key, a message pops up stating press again to exit or something similar on those lines. If you press the back key again within a given time frame, you exit from the game. And if you don't or tap anywhere else on the screen, the message goes away and you can keep playing the game. In this video, I'll be showing you the basics of how to implement this in Unity. And before we begin, I'll be using coroutines. So if you don't know about coroutines, then the code might seem strange to you. You can either first learn more about coroutines and then come back to this video or simply follow the video to get the job done for now and later visit coroutines. All being said, to the basement we go. Here I have set up a basic scene for the tutorial. Go ahead and create an empty game object. Let's call it double tap to exit. Right click on it, go to UI and create a new canvas which will hold the banner or the pop-up message. Here I am setting up a pop-up similar to my game using just the image component and default sprites. Finally the text which will be our message. Now select the double tap to exit game object, click on add component right in our script name say double tap exit and finally click on create and add. In our script we need a reference to our canvas, a float variable to determine how long do we wait for the second input from the back key and a boolean to check if the back key has been pressed once. In start we gonna set the boolean false and exit canvas dot set active false disables our canvas game object. We need a show message method. This is where you use your creativity to display that message the way you want. I used lean tween in connected destiny to slide it up and down. For the sake of keeping this tutorial easy and short, I'm gonna show you the basic way without any effects. So let me know in the comments if you would want a video on how I made mine using lean twin. Another method we need is obviously hide message and lastly a coroutine named wait countdown. We're gonna fix this error later, don't worry about it for now. Inside update, we check if the user pressed the back key using the line input dead get key down key code dot escape. And if the back pressed once boolean is false which means this is the first time the key has been pressed and we call the show message method. Now inside show message method, first thing we do is change the value of back pressed once to true. Exit canvas dot set active true enables our canvas and lastly we start our wait countdown coroutine. But before that scroll way back up and declare i enumerator coroutine and then back inside a show message method coroutine is equal to wait countdown and pass it as an argument of start coroutine method. In hide message we have to do the opposite of what we just did in show message. Change value of back press once to false, hide the canvas and stop the coroutine. Finally inside a coroutine wait countdown type yield return null so that the current frame ends and we wait for the next frame. This is important because even if the back key is pressed once, it will be read as more than once and the game will quit right away. And that's not what we want, right? Next we create a local variable time and initialize it with zero. Then we keep running the while loop as long as the value of time is less than or equal to wait time. During this time period, if user presses the back key again, application.quit closes the game. Since this doesn't work in editor, you can debug and verify it's working or not. Input.touchCount greater than zero checks if user is touching anywhere on the screen. If it's true, we call the hide message method. We increase the value of time by time dot delta time. Again, we type in yield return null. Lastly, if the loop ends without any input, then we call the hide message method. That's it, we're done with the script. Now go and drag the canvas to the exit canvas field and type in your desired wait time. If I press the play button, the message goes away. When I press escape on my keyboard, it shows up and then automatically hides if I give no input. But when I press escape key twice, you can see the output on console which means it worked. Here's the screen capture of the build running on an emulator. Pressing back key shows up the message 
and goes away if it gets no input. It also goes away if I touch anywhere else on the screen. Finally, it closes the game if I double tap the back key. Thanks for watching it so far. Don't forget to like the video and comment your doubts or feedbacks. As usual, useful links related to this video will be in the description. Also, would like to welcome the new experimenters aka subscribers to the basement. 